Hey YouTube, it is Tuesday, uh, November 28th, yes. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving, if you've celebrated. Um, and just a, a little aside, I've been having this argument with people who are going on about Thanksgiving, and how, you know what, great, that's great. I understand the history, I know it's like crap what the Americans did, what the settlers did to the Native Americans, I get it, I know. I have the day off. I'm gonna cook me some food, and I'm gonna hang out with my family. That, that's what it comes down to. I just, uh, oh, you know, uh, uh, I'm not gonna eat. And I'm, I'm like, don't eat, then starve. It's like, people worry about the stupidest things. And you know what? Once again, yes, it was horrible what we were done. And as long as we know what the real truth is, have, have, a, have, have some fun with your family, okay? Everyone has a day off, why not, anyway? Just like with Christmas. Oh, I don't celebrate Christmas, that's a pagan holiday. It's great, but you know what? I got the day off, but I bet you, you take that Christmas bonus that your boss gives you at, you know, at the end. It, so it's like, it's like, oh, spare me your philosophy, please. Please, okay? Please. I'm just so annoyed. I'm always annoyed, it seems like. I was annoyed yesterday. I didn't film. Um, last week, I filmed two, outfit of the days, which actually, you know what? Let me put those in right now. Good morning, YouTube. It is uh, Monday, November 20th. Um, hope everyone's weekend was good. Mine was good. Went to go see a Justice League. Wasn't too mad at it. Always mad at Ben Affleck as Batman, but whatever. I'm past it. But it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah. It, it was entertaining. I love The Flash. He was very funny. And of course, Aquaman. <gasps> anyway. Uh, yeah, so that was my weekend. Um, yeah, and this week is pretty short. So it's just today and tomorrow because it is Thanksgiving on Thursday. And I'm taking off Wednesday so I can prepare. Um, and that is about it. Yeah, so let us get to the outfit. Today I'm wearing my Sun, Moon, and Stars cardigan from J. Crew. Uh, my B pants from J. Crew that are absolutely restrictive. I should have got a six, although I think a six would be too big. However, these pants are super tight. I mean, tight. Um, my Zara boots, which need to be polished. And yeah, just a blue top, uh, blue tank top from um, H&M because I couldn't find a t my blue, my blue t-shirt. Um, jewelry, my lip necklace, just the regular stuff I always wear, pretty much my, um, what do you call it, my pendant, you saw the Gucci belt, um, bracelet, my stack, l and Hermes, this little evil eye is from Macy's, and just the same rings I've been wearing forever, and this Pandora bracelet. On the ears, I have my little dagger stud. Uh, my cat bird cuff, um, which incidentally I don't have to take off even. I sleep in it and it doesn't come off. I was afraid that it would come off and I'd lose it, but so far I have no problems with it. I sleep with it and it stays put. Um, cat bird, uh, diamond and chain earring, and then this is the new little crystal piece that I showed you guys last week. Um, wearing my naked heat on the eyeballs and some lime crime mixture on the lips. And yeah, that is about it got my coach um, baby here and I'm about to go to lunch. I gotta go to a Pottery Barn teen because I'm remaking my daughter's room um, for her fifth birthday. That'll be her birthday gift. Giving her the big girl bed and all the accoutrements that come with it. And Pottery Barn teen has this Emily and Merritt collection that I loved for years and thankfully they still have it. I could insert a picture. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna pick up some pieces because it has going on, it has gone on sale because of the holiday season, so yay. And that is about it for today. Just wearing my J. Crew coat. I forgot my gloves, it's actually pr pretty cold out there. Um, the wind chill makes it like in the 20s. I should've worn my, uh, macage coat. I really don't wanna pull that out until after, like, December. Ugh. So, 
but this actually this coat is pretty warm it's a very thick wool so get that on with my a gray cashmere scarf and I'm going to go and brave the elements and the train station to go across town it's and yawn to get this stuff for my little one so that is about it today guys uh, nothing else doing uh, I'm going to you know I told you guys I was going to had to redo my half of my jewelry collection of course Saturday came and went and completely forgot <laughs> to film it I'm a horrible horrible youtuber I'm gonna try to film it tonight and I can get some quiet and so I can post it at the end of this um, little series. I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to do it. Oh, and then where am I? Maybe blue Celine's. So yeah, that is it for today. And I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. It is Tuesday, November 21st. The last day of uh, the week for me, since it is Thanksgiving on Thursday. Um, so I hope you all have a very wonderful Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. Um, like I said, I will be hosting at my house, so tonight starts all of the brining the turkey and all that other good stuff and running out to get my last minute de decorations. <laughs> so. Hope you guys have a fabulous um, time with friends and family, uh, or <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> Drinking some wine and having a, a nice old time by oneself. Nothing wrong with that either. Um, yeah, so let's get to the outfit. Today I am wearing this silk dress from Equipment. Love the bright florals on it. Um, and some Zara uh, shoes um, with my Chloe bag. And um, for jewelry, my lip necklace, my Chanel necklace, and my uh, l and pendant uh, necklace. Uh, I didn't put anything else on because I was just running late. Um, I just got my same earrings I was wearing yesterday. Now the second ear here hole is acting up. I don't know if I'm going to have to switch out these hoops to studs to see if that will help. But I'm sick of walking around with salt on my ear. Okay, and I walk around with some salt on my ear, so that'll feel better. I mean, it doesn't hurt or throb or anything. It's just the bump is real, and it's not going away, and it's been there. This is the longest time I've ever had a problem, and now this problem, this bottom one is acting up now. So annoying. Why won't they heal? And I'm not giving up on them. My mother's like, your ear's going to fall off. Of course, she doesn't like piercings at all. She thinks they're unbiblical, and they're not. But there's a whole other sub, whole other subject. Just like you're just gonna fall off. You're gonna feel. You're gonna be sorry. My mother. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So that is about it. I am running out uh, to my other office. Um, oh yeah, and I'm just wearing my um, Celine's, my, my navy blue Celine's. Um, running out to my other office. Um, I'm gonna run by H and M. They have a dress in the. Um, window. I kind of ran through H&M uh, looking for it. Couldn't find it, but I'm going to do a little more research. It looks very nice. I might wear it for um, Thanksgiving if I can find it. Um, eyes makeup is ColourPop and lips uh, is Teddy Bear, I think, from Lime Crime. So yeah, that is it for me this week. Um, yeah, so you guys have a great weekend. I will be talking to you next week. Take care. Bye. So that was last week. It was just two days because I was out Wednesday, of course, through Friday. I refilmed my jewelry collection and half of it, once again, is crap. I don't know why the camera is automatically turning. And now YouTube editor or whatever is gone. So I can't fix it on there. So now I'm going to have to refilm the other half of my jewelry collection. So that's not going to happen until next week sometime. So I, it's in the works. I've got half of it filmed and I have a good mind to film to actually show you half because it all in all was like 30 minutes long. So if I put in half, because I don't want to make a like a 
a separate video since it's, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing fantastic. It's just me vlog style showing you the horrible state of my jewelry collection, meaning that most of my necklaces are all tangled. So I don't want to put it in its own video, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll upload or show you guys the half I have and then do the other half another time. Very annoyed. So yesterday I, um, yeah, I wasn't feeling it. So I didn't film yesterday. But I figured I had two outfit of the days from yesterday. I mean, from last week, so you guys get it. And it's time for me to start wearing foundation once again, because I'm not really liking the way my skin is looking without it. So we will start up again tomorrow. Uh, let's see. I have racked up, uh, uh, not racked up, but uh, for Black Friday, I um, got a, the, the toys I wanted for my kids. Toys and uh, Black Friday and on... Cyber Monday connect because nothing I ever want is ever on sale on Black Friday. Black Friday is a, a bunch of hogwash to, to me because unless I'm buying like electronics. Otherwise, nothing I want is included in Black Friday sales or Cyber Monday sales. But I did get my, my kids their toys for Christmas, so that's good. Um, and I think I've got myself a pair of earrings from Bing Bang because they were having 30 off. I was gonna buy something from Catbird because they have their sale on Cyber Mondays. Like it's the only sale a year that they have other than the birthday thing that they send you. It was like a measly 15% off. I was like, eh, screw you. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I didn't really do much damage, which is good. I did get my Apple Watch. Well, I'm wearing it because I have absolutely no patience. I was gonna give it to myself for Christmas, but I found this one. This is a series one, which is fine with me. Um, and I found it on the, at Best Buy, open box for 188. Nothing was wrong with it. It was fine. The person opened it, returned it, and I got it for 188. Why not? I did get my Coach watch uh, for 30 off. I think they're still having a sale. I don't know if they'll still have it by the time this is up, but Black Friday sale, 30% off my Coach watch band. That I will save for myself for Christmas <laughs> to open up on Christmas Day because I can give a lot of gifts. I don't get that many in return which is fine whatever I buy myself lots of things during the year so so yeah that is about that oh just today um there's a dress in H&M that I yeah I know I hate H&M but sometimes they come through there's a dress it's like a star dress very Diwa and it was sold out and then I was trying to search it down. I went to a couple of H&M's, all sold out everywhere, except for the one that was on the mannequin in the um, display. Uh, I will insert a picture of it. it is now online. This morning I ran into the store and happened to see a size small on the racks, which was from the mannequin, but um, luckily it's now listed online and I got 30% off of it. And um, I'll let you know, uh, let me know what you guys think. And with it, uh, it's very, um, uh, of course I'll show it to you when, you got, when I get it, but I bought this sweater to go with it because it's pretty dressy and I don't go anywhere, but I love the dress. So I just bought this black sweater which I hope doesn't itch me to go over it. So I think that will, this is also from H&M. Um, I think it will dress it down nicely, but we'll see. We'll see when it comes. I did get 30 off it. The dress is pretty much basically all tool and it's got gold um, embroidery on it. And they want, and H&M wants $69 for it. It's like, come on H&M, no, it's no. So I'm lucky I got 30% off of it, and then I'm, with this sweater, I think it might look appropriate for work. <laughs> um, and with actually the sour boots that I'm wearing. Um, and speaking of, let us get to the outfit. Today I am wearing my Zara oversized white shirt that can never stay crisp. Um, my J. Crew uh, slim trousers and a pair of nylon boots from, um, Zara, which I think they're now calling sock boots, but they're not sock boots, they're nylon boots. I believe sock boots are actually sock material. Nylon boots have been around for edges. Edges. So, these are nylon boots, and I'm gonna call them nylon. But I love these boots, I love them. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't think I showed you these. These are new. And they, uh, Zara has them now. Um, so, check them out. They're very comfortable, and I love them. 
Uh, I'm going to try to wear them tomorrow with a dress so you can see how far they come up. And yeah. For makeup, I'm wearing my um, Dark Mattes by Viseart palette. Um, and I had a cluster crap of stuff on my lips. Jewelry, Catbird, Catbird, and this second whole earring, the second earring, and this earring. That's the pair. That's from that Meizu, that, um, they're the crystal earrings I showed you that I got for free. Uh, I think it was either last week or the week before. Um, and yeah, just my, uh, Chanel necklace, this Y, um, tiny Y la la uh, necklace from Etsy. Oh, and my new necklace, which I just got yesterday, it's been on back order for forever, um, from J. Crew is the actually the heart pendant. I have an N for my husband Neil. It's backwards because he's just pissed me off and he's in the doghouse, so I don't need to be saying his initial. Um, but it's uh, J. Crew has now their demi fine jewelry collection, so this is just 14, I think it's 14 karat gold plated, basically. Um, but nice heart, and um. I need to get a chain for it. I just have this chain from Veramite that I threw on, and it's a little long, so. It falls. Yeah, I just like that. Just threw that on. And yeah, that is about it for today. Um, I, uh, yeah, I will be back tomorrow and Thursday, and, uh, wait, um, on the ear, on the ear, the fingers are just my skull ring from Bing Bang, and my happy face from Bing Bang. I actually got the studs to match the happy face from Bing Bang yesterday because they were having 30% off. So I ordered that um, from Bing Bang. And then this uh, beaded one is from Catbird. You guys know this, I've been wearing these forever now. This is my opal from Zoe Chico and then just this diamond little open ring from Etsy. And that is about it today. I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care, bye. Hey YouTube, it is Wednesday, November uh, 29th, um, and yeah, Wednesday, hump day. I've been all over the place this week um, with my days, I don't know why. Um, oh, so, it is Wednesday. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I um, Let's get, get into the outfit of the day, because I have a quick tag that I want to do that I was tagged uh, by. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, so let's get to the outfit. Today I'm wearing my Tyga um, turtleneck from H&M and this um, over a brown dress that I got from, I think, New York & Co. with my uh, Zara boots that I told you I was going to wear. Um, I love these boots. You can't even tell where they stop and where the tights begin. They're very, very slimming, and I like the silhouette that they, uh, uh, that they make. <laughs> so, it's very nice. I love these boots. I may have to buy an extra pair because these are only $59, and I know something's going to happen to these, and I won't have them again, and I'll be really pissed because these are perfect. The heel is perfect. They're comfy. Love them. Um... And uh, yeah, so Zara still has these, and I think I will pick up another pair. Wearing this all with my, still my Chloe, um, Marcy, I need to change her out because I don't want the handles getting dark. I've been wearing her over a week. I love this bag. I want the black one so bad. Um, yeah, so that's the outfit. Um, and I'm just wearing that with my, what are these, my Karen Walker? Yes, Karen Walker shades, uh, Dior earrings, and nothing else. I didn't put any other jewelry on today. So, that is it. What is my makeup today? Still wearing my Viseart palette. Um, and the lips are um, Underground, I think, by Gerard Cosmetics with half red lip liner from MAC. Yeah. So, the style synonym has a tag me, and the name of the tag is uh, Crushing on Myself, and she has created this tag, um, so thank you for tagging me. I just got a couple of questions that I will try to answer, because um, she paid me quite a nice compliment of how confident I appear. Um, I guess, you know, I, I'm the weirdest person, just like with the whole, you know, name your style. 
I, I never know the answers to these questions. I just bumble along through life and I never like stop to actually think of answers to what drives me. Does that make me weird? I don't know. I just like this the answer to life and you need to find yourself. Like I always was like, what the hell does that mean? Like sometimes in these movies, you know, they have these huge philosophical questions and usually I'm like, what, what, what? what? I don't know. I don't know what that means. So I'm very uh, thankful and grateful um, that she thinks that I appear confident. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Am I confident? Or is it more of like, I'm like going to be 40 and I don't really care uh, what people think to an extent. I just, I don't care. I, don't, I just, I don't. I have just way too many things in life that matter to care about what other people think of my personal appearance or me as a person because I try to be a nice person. I try to treat people how I would like to be treated. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so style-wise, and you know, growing up, I was like, I considered myself, and I still do, I mean, I'm not winning any beauty pageants, you know, I mean, I guess I'm okay looking, I just, I don't know. Um, you know, and one day, I, I think it was my, it could have been mid-twenties, I don't even remember, you know, I woke up, because I used to have, you know, I used to grow, I, when I grew up, I was very strict, um, conservative Christian, my mother still is, and, you know, we had to wear these long skirts, and you, you looked weird, you just look, you just stood out, you know, from the other girls, you, you just, you just did, and, you know, you're too below, and you're trudging to school in some long jean skirt with hard, you know, pigtails and braces and glasses, you know, I was hard, I was a hard looking child, <laughs> my old pictures, I was like, yeah. And that puts a little damper on you, which is probably why I got into fashion when I got older. Because I was like, you know, I tried to, eat, I kind of did care what people thought because I always thought that they were looking at me and to he to he. And so I guess I made up for that in my older years, becoming, you know, in love with fashion and making sure everything looked good on the outside. But then one day I woke up and, you know, just a scripture came to my head. And you know, I'm not huge, I don't go to church, I mean, I should go to church, I don't go to church anymore. Um, mainly because I live in Jersey and the church that I grew up is in New York. And I used to go, I go occasionally because I want my children to go to church. Anyway, but the point being is I'm not this pious Christian. I believe that God, you know, if he is still interested in this planet, which I don't see why he would be, you know, he looks at the heart and he sees the heart. I'm not saying be like, a complete devil and do whatever you want. I mean, I believe there are standards in life, moral moral standards that we should adhere to. That, you know, I don't think God is some big fat jolly man ho ho hoing and saying I love you all and everything is every, every I just don't believe that kind of thing. But that's another story. Um, I'm getting off on a tangent. Anyway, I woke up one morning and the little scripture came to my head said that, you know, you are wonderfully and fearfully made. And that kind of turned a page for me. And it stopped making me, you know, doubt myself and uh, putting down myself down and I'm not pretty and I'm not. And, and what is pretty? Another thing. You know, society puts out a certain look as being pretty and that's, they, that's great and all, you know. But pretty comes in so many different shapes and sizes and colors and what have you. And quite frankly, that prettiness on the outside, if there's nothing on the inside that you know, makes that prettiness stand out, that I've learned the hard way that I don't care how good looking you are, if you are a nasty person or just your character is lacking, you are you can be the most gorgeous person in the world, but you're ugly. You become ugly to me. You don't see the prettiness anymore. And I've learned that the hard way. Um, so, and I will tell my daughter, don't ever go for outside appearance. It's the inside that counts. And that inside will make that outward appearance, you know, gorgeous to anyone. So anyway, we are all wonderfully and fearfully made and we should all enjoy what are our traits, our different personalities, our different looks, or, you know, whatever. So, you know, that's, I guess, the motto I live by, if that makes any sense. I've just rambled for five minutes. Who knows if that made any sense, but I guess, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So to that, the crushing on me tag um, has a couple of questions and the first one is what is your favorite um, physical feature and how do you showcase it and you know after having two children and being 
on the wrong side of 35, uh, things have shifted and changed. So I had to think about this question now because you know I'm wearing I more into baggy clothes and you know things that hide certain things. Um, you know you have stretch marks because you know and scars from C-sections and so forth and so on. And those things, those priorities, kind of change as you get older or you know your circumstance. My circumstance, some C-section scars you can't see, but yeah, I had. Uh, my first child was uh, an issue. So anyway, so my I used to love my back and the two little dimples of my lower back, you know, and my shoulders and the you know, and I used to showcase show that off and my sides, you know, and I used to buy dresses with like open beside it that doesn't happen anymore. And my shoulders, you know, I, you know, I'll show my shoulders sometimes, but now. <laughs> since I don't go out, what I usually like. My favorite feature, and I've got lots of compliments on them, are my lips. My eyes, too. People like my eyes for some strange reason. I don't know. And my nose, but whatever. But I like my lips. Yeah. They're nice and full. And I like them. And I usually like to showcase them wearing bright red lipstick in the, uh, the season, holiday season. Um, but usually I just wear the um, nudes to kind of just show them off. I like my lips. Okay, um, second question. What is an item you wear that makes you feel very confident? Um, and as most of you know, I love all my clothes. I've had, I've had, I have clothes that I've had for years and um, I love them. I don't get rid of them. You know, I don't go through a closet purge every year because the pieces I have in my closet, I love and I tend to have them forever and wear them out and then cry when I do have to get rid of them because I do love them. So, and in clothing itself, you know, things don't really make me feel confident, I guess. I don't know. You know, I love wearing my dual earrings. I feel like I'm stylish when I wear certain things. Um, but I don't have a particular item of clothing that I'm like, yeah, when I wear it. I will say I feel particularly proud when I do bring out my Chanel boy. And when I walk down the street, I'm like, yes, even though it's turned around, so... I won't get robbed. But um, I do like wearing my Chanel boy. It's my jewel. I'm very proud of it. It was expensive. I probably will never buy another Chanel bag again just because of the price and the principle of it all. But I do like wearing my Chanel and I do feel proud when I wear it. And number three, what is your favorite compliment you've gotten about your appearance? Uh, and I don't really remember. Uh, you know, any one compliment, but I do feel nice when random strangers compliment me, um, and especially when straight guys do it. When you're walking the street and some straight, yeah, well, sometimes I'll be, you know, standing at the light waiting. Oh, well, this is one time, and uh, the one time I can, you know, recall, and, you know, he, he's a, he's a nice guy, he's a nice looking white guy. He was straight, and, and gay guys are cool too. And I'm when they, they're like, oh, honey, yes, yes. And I'm like, thank you. But when straight guys compliment you, I feel that I did something a little right. And even my husband, because usually he'll, he'll, you know, he pretty much likes what I wear. But when I really am head to toe in something that he likes and he actually opens his mouth to comment, it's like, okay, I did something right today. You know? So, you know, that's, um, those are my favorite compliments. Uh, random strangers, women, yes, because, you know, women know, we, we pretty much know how to dress. But when dudes give you, pay you a compliment, especially strangers who are not trying to pick you up, um, you know, it's a little nice. Four, what is something you love to wear that other people do not like? Uh, <laughs> pants, <laughs> short skirts, sleeveless tops, <laughs> anything non-conservative that my mother hates, I like to wear. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, my, you know what? I'm not walking around the street with my booty hanging out and booty shorts or leggings where you see everything. You know, you fight your battles, mother. Fight your battles, okay? I wear appropriate, you know, clothing. <sighs> but you know, mothers. Um, number five, what fashion faux pas do you commit freely and happily? I like wearing what I like, when I want. You know, I'm getting up there to a certain age, and I don't know how I'm supposed to dress. I'm just going to keep dressing. I'm going to wear a tiger sweater. I'm going to wear a tiger sweater. If I'm 15, I'm going to be wearing... I wear what I like when I like it. And actually, coming to work dressed up, you know, makeup done, not, ba not other than basic makeup, 
coming to work, you know, it's, you walk around, sometimes you get a little stares because it's like, where are you going, lady? Why, why, why are you even bothering? It's just work. But, you know, I, I like dressing up. So maybe that's a fashion faux pas here at my job. <laughs> and I commit it freely and happily every day. Uh, number six, what colors do you like against your skin? I love corals, especially in the summertime. I love mauves. I love my grays. I love my navies. I love black. Um, I love them all. But corals in the summertime, especially when I'm tanned, love it. And share a photo in which you feel fabulous and tell us why. Um, the photo I picked is this one. I'll add the picture. And I've added that one because that was um, uh, right after I had my first little baby. You know, the body was all voluptuous and the hair was thick. Of course, they don't tell you that the hair falls out. Um, and trying to lose the belly, I didn't, you know, do it right. Eat nutritiously, that's a word. Uh, so hair really fell out and they, don't all, all, they also don't tell you how your body shifts and literally like you're you feel your bones shifting and it's just weird. But that picture, I was feeling especially sexy. You know, the boobies were still enlarged. Um, they, don't, they also don't tell you a lot of things about breastfeeding, but that's another story. But I did like that. I felt really nice. I had my little peanut and um, she had been, at that point, she was over her stint in the NICU. And I was feeling nice and, um, you know, yeah, so. Uh, I hope that I've answered all the questions, um, and of course I'm going to tag Andre, <laughs> I tagged you to do this, um, and anyone else who would like to do the tag. So uh, yes, thank you, Sile Synonym, for tagging me, and uh, hopefully I did this to your liking. But yeah, I, I really, I rarely reflect on things, maybe that's bad, because I'm always like, I don't, I don't know, I just walk through life. You know, dee 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 dee. Anyway, I have rambled on enough. I gotta get myself out of here. Um, yeah, so that's about it, guys. I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. It is 2 o'clock on Thursday, November the 30th. Last day of November. Can't believe it. Just come back from lunch. Just walking around. Um... There's some shops that uh, pops up at uh, Bryant Park, so I went through there. They they used to be like really cool, um, one of a kind things, but now it's just like a bunch of crap, and it was so crowded. And then they were cleaning the ice rink because they put an ice rink there, and I wanted to start doing filming my little uh, Christmas in the city. One of you lovely ladies had asked me to do it, um, just to film like the Christmas scenes in the different stores. And, and I was going to start at Bryan Park, but they were cleaning the ice, so I didn't think that was very festive, watching the guy with the big machine clean it. <laughs> I kind of wanted people to be on the ice. So I will start that. i probably put it up sometime mid-December. But yeah, uh, the Christmas tree has been lit in Rockefeller Center. I will make my way over there as well one of these days uh, when I feel it's not too crowded. Um, and I just walked around. It was actually very nice out, so, um, pulled out my, uh, my Louis Vuitton scarf. I really, um, it's starting to fuzz up slightly, which is getting on my nose, because I really love, um, the thickness. I wish it was just a tad bit longer, because when I try to fold it, especially with this coat that only has one button, that's how I usually wear it, um, it gets a little short, so when I have the, the one button after a while and you know it starts coming out. <laughs> so if it was a little longer and if I want to like open it up, sometimes it gets really warm and I want to kind of open it up, it just it's a little too short. So I wish it was a little longer. But overall, I do love it. I do keep it in its box when I am not using it, and I do baby it because I do not want it to pill, as this scarf is known to pill. But for a Louis Vuitton scarf that is this thick, it is worth the price. I believe it's below 500, I think it's four something. I wish they would make another color that I like, but I love this brown color. So, yay for my Louis scarf. Uh, yeah, so I'm just wearing my shower coat, which I've been wearing pretty much a lot lately because I love it. It's thick, it's basic. I wish there was one more button on it, but that's neither here nor there. Um, my Celine 
glasses. So let's get to the outfit today. I am wearing that um, uh, sweater that I bought. I think I showed you guys yesterday or the day before. I actually love it. It doesn't itch. It's $34.99. They have it in gray, but I wish it came in navy blue. I don't need another gray sweater, although I really do love this, um, the way this fits. I'm wearing my double belt and my, um, the double belt is from below the belt and the skirt is also from H&M. Uh, sweaters from H&M, skirts from H&M, and my Zara stretchy boots. Yeah. Oh, with that, my Zara bag. So I've been Zara and H&M'd out today. For jewelry, I have only a couple of things going on. I have my lip uh, necklace, Chanel, my Etsy Y, uh, chain and my um, heart pendant from J. Crew. Let's see what else. L and M ring cuff, same kind of stacking rings I've been wearing, and my um, Hermes cuff that has flipped around. And I didn't really put on any earrings. It's just my cat bird cuff and this uh, that free earring that I have not taken out since I put it in. And yeah. Um, What's on the eyes today? I'm um, doing the Melt, my Melt Stack from Melt Cosmetics and on the lips, which I need a redo. I think I'm wearing a Lime Crime. Uh, let's see, I think I'm wearing a Lime Crime. Is it Lime Crime? Yeah, I think it's Teddy Bear that I was wearing that has since worn off because I've eaten. You know, I just came from Sephora and I was swatching some of the Kat Von D, the new Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. And I like to swatch them and uh, pretend that I'll remember which ones I swatched and walk around the store until they dry. So one uh, color in particular I loved. Walked around the store, it dried, it was beautiful. Go back to pick it up, can't figure out which one it is. I swatched freaking every one. <laughs> I don't know if someone came and moved it or took it, I don't know. but. Suffice it to say, I didn't get it because I couldn't find the one I swatched. But it was a really nice color. Oh well. I have plenty of that stuff anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's about it for today, guys. Not really doing anything. Actually, I have a, Chris, a winter wonderland thing I'm gonna drive my kids around. It's like a drive-through drive through scene from a ch um, in one of the churches by my the way I live um, with a friend of mine. So we'll do that on Saturday. But other than that, I'm not really, I don't really have any, um, any plans <laughs> just gonna chill out uh yeah so hopefully you guys have a great weekend um hopefully you get my h&m dress i'm very interested to get that dress from h&m the ones uh, that i showed you with the stars i want to see if i'm going to keep it and how it'll look with this because this is what i bought this sweater for but i really love this sweater it's very cozy um yeah i wish it came in another color that i needed um because i don't wanna really want to buy the gray one i mean how many gray sweaters does one need I do need a navy blue and a wine color would be nice. Although I did order, actually last night, I forgot, in my late night um, perusings, I did order a navy blue premium quality. I think it was $99 from H&M. Did I have something in my teeth? No. $99 from H&M. But it is the navy blue, the dark, dark, dark navy blue color that I like. It is this same, I think it's a v-neck. I think it was a v-neck and not a crew neck. And it is premium quality. It's mohair plus wool. Um, I did have 30% off, so um, I hope it's the blue that I want when it comes, because I'm looking for a dark, dark navy blue, like almost black, and it's oversized, just like this. So. Yeah, that is it for me this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will be talking to you next week. Take care. Bye.